Today we're going to tie the two-string bikini. My name's Lazarus Redmayne, and this is theduchy.com. The first thing we need to do is get two ropes. These are approximately 15 feet, approximately 5 meters long. Find the center of them, the bite, and place that bite at the back of your partner's neck, and then bring the two strands across to the front. Find the point where those strands cross each other just below the point of the breast, just where the sternum is. This is where we're going to have to make our connection point to connect the two cups of our bra. Now, if you want to make this, if you want, now if you want to make a version of this that's more adjustable so that you could use it with multiple people so you only really have to tie it once, which I entirely understand, then come to the back and instead of having those ropes be right at the back of the neck so it's custom fitted, have them come down about that far, somewhere in the middle of the shoulder blades. By doing that, you then have some flexibility. You can lower, like if this was our connection point, you could lower where those cups are by raising the point of connection, or you can raise them up for smaller people by pulling down on this. So bring this knot down and it's a little bit more adjustable. Whichever approach you choose to take, you need to mark this location as the place where we need to make the connection between the two cups we're going to create. Now one thing I want to do before I begin tying this off is to make, mark my bite so I know exactly where the middle of my rope is. And you could do this a few ways. You could comb these ropes back and tie an overhand knot in the middle of this, keeping track of which set of cords belongs to which side of the bikini so you don't mess that up. Or you can just mark that middle with some other piece of rope. So I'll just take a small piece of rope and I'll wrap it around the middle like that and then tie it off with an overhand. Now that I have that marked, I'm going to reorient things so that the middle of the rope is here. I'm just going to move it that direction off camera. And I'm going to bring it down to the place where I want to create the connection between the two cups of the bra. Now these two ropes belong to one side. These two ropes belong to the other side. And I just need to connect these together first. And you can do so a few ways. You could do so with a square knot. I would like this one to be a little more decorative, so I'm going to use a double coin knot instead. So making sure my ropes are parallel and even, I'm just going to create a loop like that. You'll note that I've left the two strands of the rope parallel as they go around. So one's going to go a little bit farther than the other. That's not going to be a big deal for us because we're going to be doing that a few times as we go through this tie. And the ends should end up approximately the same regardless. Now take the other side. Lay the loop that you've created on top of those strands, again making sure they're even and parallel, and then lay those two strands on top of the other side, and then it's going to go under, over, under, over. This weaving pattern we're going to use a lot, so we're going to go under the unders and over the overs. So we'll just go over top, underneath that one, excuse me. Things will get a little messy for just a second, but I'll reorganize them so it's easy to see. Then we're going to go over, under, over, and you can do that in kind of one move just by placing your knot there, then reaching under and pulling this one through like this. Now, now we have the double coin knot, and we just need to work that a bit so it's tight and even and it's positioned properly compared to where we have our middle. I'm just going to pick it up, kind of work that a little tighter. If one strand is too loose compared to the other strand, just adjust that one individual strand so things lay nice and even. So this is what you're looking to try to achieve. Now, if you happen to be fitting this for a specific person and it's supposed to be tailored in size, it's best to take a moment and go fit this to make sure that knot is in the correct location before we go create the rest. So I'm going to take this now. We no longer need to mark this middle. We have that middle here. So I can take that piece out. So now I'll go double check the fit of this before we continue. So now I've measured and confirmed that this knot is in the correct place, which is just below the lower part of the sternum on our partner. 
So now I'm going to create this side of the two-string bikini, then we'll create the other. Let's reorient things so it's a little easier to see what's going on. I'm going to take this side and orient it like this, and this is the one we're going to be weaving to create the triangle cup. So I'm going to lay, I'm going to, I'm going to make these strands lie parallel like this, hold them in place, and then move the entire set of strands above like that. Now you want to choose how large this triangle is going to be. Depending on the build of your partner, you will choose different sizes. I'm going to go with a base hand width right here so I can do the same on both sides. So I'm going to cross it over here, and now I'm going to pull these tails in underneath all of these things, but I'm going to do so in such a way that they fold sort of straight under like that. And then I'm only going to pull a loop through like this. Now, note that these are lying flat and parallel as we go. Now I'm going to adjust how much of that rope is actually going to be there. So I'll pull through just a little bit here. I'll lock that in place. I'll take a little of this rope out because we want this one to be lying parallel, this to lie parallel to these two with about the same space in between. So there's too much there. We'll pull a bit out like this. And now I need the outside strand a little bit more tightened like that. She'll end up with something like this, where this is the tail, and now we're going to fold it over that one and weave it through both of these. And we're doing the weaving in the same way we've done before. We go over top of things that are above, we go below things that are below. So folding this one over top of that, pulling just a loop through, like this, and then adjusting the lay of those ropes so that they're parallel. Like this. And if we, as we pull these things out a little bit and make them the correct shape. So now we have that weave pattern that we're creating. I'm going to do one more looped weave like this. And again, we're going to go under, over, under, over. So under the unders, over the overs. So I'm going to fold this underneath like that. Then taking just the loop, go over, under, over. Like that. Make sure your cords are lying parallel to each other. These ones are not, so just pull them apart like that. And now, this is coming underneath that line, so it's going to go over, under, over, under, over, and then come out the bottom. So, grab the line. I find it easier to work with the ends when I'm doing this, so I want to make sure that this loop doesn't come undone. I'm just going to put my finger there to make sure that loop stays where it's supposed to be until we lock it off. And then I'm going to go over and under. So over and under. Over and under. Over. And then up through that last loop like that. A little harder with the knots there. All right. Now we're just going to pull all that through. Lay it out how it's supposed to be. The ropes got a little twisted as I was tying them. That's okay. Just flip them over. Get them parallel again. All right, so now we have the base weave done. And the first few times you do this, it may look messy, just like this. I kind of did this on purpose so that you could see how it may look the first few times you do it. But this is okay. You can fix this and make it lie much more evenly, even if it's your first time. You don't have to go back and retie everything until you get a good sense of the tension. You can fix this, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But once you've done this a few times, you can actually tie it in such a way that when you're done, it really turns out quite nicely without you having to adjust it a lot. So don't worry about that. All right, we have the pattern now. This is the tail. This rope is the top part that establishes this, the core shape. So what we need to make sure we have is a similar tension for all these lines that are parallel to it. So what I'll do is I'll just start adjusting. So this is the first line that comes in, and I'll adjust the tightness of that. Make sure the rope folding over is even and nice. And I'm just going to chase this rope all the way through, and I'm, I'm going to pull, and I'm going to pull the top parts of it when I do this work. So I'm going to pull this top little loop here, make sure it's a little tighter, and then same thing here until we come down to the other side just that one. And you see we're going to get some slack out of this. As we chase this knot through, we'll keep getting a little more slack out of it. And as we do, the weave is going to become more consistent and it's going to look better. So bring it over here, 
this one to get this one a little more flat. I'm pulling the top pieces because that helps you maintain a flat weave. If you just pull the bottoms, like if I just pulled right here, it would tend to disrupt the weave a little bit. So I'm pulling the top parts of these little loops because I can adjust it. So already with one round of tightening, this looks a lot better. But these are still quite far apart compared to these. And I can tighten this up a little bit more. So I can do the same thing. Just scoot these down into the tie a little bit more. And then do the same thing for the next round. I'll scoot them down into each other and pull some of that out the side. And then out the bottom. And I'm just chasing it around again. So after some adjustment, this one looks more consistent and clean. And now if I reorient this, so now we have one side done. Depending on your partner's build, you might want this larger. If you do, all you would do is make this line a little further out and you'd add another few of those loop pulls through. This one, I just really did three of those loop pulls before I did this. So now we have one side done, let's do the other. Same kind of thing, I'm just gonna reorient. Then I'm going to measure my distance, lay my tail on top, like that, and then do those loop pulls through. Fold it over, like that. Fold it over. Fold it under. and then lock it off. Over, under, over, under, over. So there's the very loose version, which by the way, if you like the loose version, you can simply leave it like this. But I'm going to tighten this one up so it matches the other side. So there's round one. We still want to tighten this up a little bit more, get it more clean, so I'm going to go round two.
and there's round two. Now we have two sides that look very, very similar to each other, very similar weight, very similar weave pattern, and now we can go place this on our partner. So let's try this out on our partner. Just put the neck loops over top of your partner's head and center it in the back. Then on the front, check to see your fit and your positioning. So in this case, we kind of custom tailored this one to fit right where it needed to be. So all I'm going to need to do is just take these two strands, pull them down a little bit, snug them under my partner's breasts, bring the lines to the back, and then lock them off with a surgeon's knot or a square knot. So now that we have the surgeon's knot, let's go double check our placement. Things look pretty good from the front. We have the tail to use up. There are many ways to use up the tail. That's not really what this is about. So all I'm going to do is just take the tails, run them up underneath my partner's neck strap. Like that. And then, and then run them around the center line a few times. There's a wide variety of ways to do that, not the scope of the tutorial, so we're just going to leave that there for the time being. So here it is, the two-string bikini. There are a number of ways you could modify this. My name's Lazarus Redmayne. This is theduchy.com. If you learned a little something, consider supporting us at theduchy.com slash join.